Ladies and gentlemen, step right up because, my friend, um, it's episode fourteen. Wow, we we really made it this far. We really did it. We really Can't took. We, it. we took one foot in front of the other, and then we did that a few and times. We walked, and here we, and we are. Did it a few, we we did it fourteen times, and now we're fourteen uh, steps closer to heaven, heaven baby. baby. Only fourteen, I'm 14 steps, fourteen steps closer, closer to, to you. you. There'll be no more Who living that? without a fart no poop, baby. Who is what? that? Um, is it Steps? Is it S Club? Is it S Club? Are they the same? Are they different bands? Is it S Club to Heaven? Let me let really me find, find out. Because I What's can't continue. One step closer. Okay, well, you, you you can keep talking and I'll, <laughs> and I'll, and I'll research But this. Nick, I, I, I can't and I shan't keep talking without you here because, um, well, I just I don't know what to do on my own, mate. Well, how's everyone doing? And this goes out to all the listeners. How are you guys doing? Yeah, keep stalling. Yeah, keep, yeah, keep yeah, it going. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah? okay. Um, uh, yeah, no, fine. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Um, yeah, great work. Keep keep it going. Yeah, cheers. Um, yeah, okay. How are the kids? Good, 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 good. Very nice. Um, yeah, no, because I saw, yeah, I saw, no, I saw something on Facebook. Fantastic you know, work. Just five more minutes, we're just checking audio. <laughs> I saw something on Facebook, yeah. Oh, she died. No, I didn't, didn't see that. Oh, I'm so sorry. Great, great work. We're rolling in, we're rolling in two, okay? I'm going to give a countdown, okay, so when cameras roll, but, but Nick, get, from Nick, the number one, out. they'll be... Pull me out, Nick. Pull me I'm out. pulling you out, mate, because it's one step closer by S Club Juniors. It's S Club Juniors! Or S Club 8. What? If you will. Is that what they It's coming up with S Club 8. I've never heard that. It's just S Club Juniors, I right? thought it was, yeah, I've never heard. Was there eight? Was it because there's one more of them eight, this? eight, I assume it's Why because there's eight that? of them. Or because it's the next one along from S Club 7. Dumb so, that's not how it works. Isn't S Club 7 called S Club 7 because there's seven of them? I think so, but you know, so you we, can't we don't just know how change the rules because they're minors. Fuck. Well, we hell. got to the we got to the bottom of the uh, of the of the mystery. We did. Um, we got to the bottom of something, and you and you stalled very well, my I add. Thanks, man. Um, yeah, no, we, we very we, good job. You know, uh, me and uh, listener number one, we hadn't spoken for a while, but um, no, yeah. no, um, sad news. though. yeah, no, there aren't died. Oh, that is sad. Well, you know. Um, you know, I hope they're doing all right, you know, yeah, through no, we, sadness, we um, you will find happiness eventually, so. Well, fuck me, that's heavy for a, yeah, that's heavy man. for a Wednesday evening, or should I say a Friday evening? Oh, <laughs> that's very good, because, right? because, because we record it ahead of, yeah, that's so good, it's, it's good, man, it's good, look, it's a joke that's that never so seems good. to get old, uh, and I won't so stop good. using it. How are you doing anyway, mate, you all right? Yeah, I'm doing good, um, yeah, I'm, I'm warm because I made dinner really early, because Maddie had to go out uh, tonight, and, um, you know, the only window of time to make dinner was uh, 5.30, that's, so. Honestly, that's fucked, you know, if you're having dinner before feel, 6 o'clock, why don't you I know, you just, I feel a bit off, off whack, you where, know. Where is, she, where is she going that she can't have dinner at a normal time, and you can't just have dinner She's um she's going out to uh, to roller skate with her friend. Fucking hell! Why cool. does she when she gets back? What? I don't know why I'm digging this far. Yeah, just I mean, no, look, no we just ate dinner to, early. That's have it. To put up with a five thirty dinner. That's just Stu will never get past it. Um, but but how are you doing, mate? How are you doing? I'm all right. You know, you know what? Not being a best Wednesday, to be honest. I um, now Wednesdays are pretty tepid anyway. I mean, yeah, it's it's midweek. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's not... neither here nor there, is it? Is it the weekend? No. Is it the beginning of the week? No. It's just there. We're just you know? it's just stuck in the middle of the week. It's just that thing. It's just oh, bog off. Do you know? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So Go true. away yeah, so Wednesday. Wednesday. I know what you mean. But I Wednesday Adams. I tr- I I got up early. Go for a run yeah. before work, which I haven't done for a while. Feeling quite tired. I had yeah. a really bad run because my legs just fucking my legs are killing me. 
today. Well, I haven't had a run in about Absolutely outrageous eight days. So it was <laughs> it was wow, wow, Nick. Yeah, your, your legs must be you must be uh, screaming, mate. I'm ru- I'm running on uh, pipe cleaners right now. So <laughs> it's pretty fun. But I um yeah, so I didn't have a great run. Got back. Work's been kind of you know a bit. You know when you you know you, things are different when you've got an actual deadline to do on the yeah, day. Yeah. You know one yeah. of those work days, and and then earlier at lunchtime. So there's this like ice cream van that that's local to us that you hear every now and then. Classic um, goes around the neighbourhood, and you know if if an ice cream van's near your your residence, you're gonna hear it because they play. You're their gonna jingles. hear it because it's um, so loud. And, yeah, and so usually it's like. So our jingle goes like this. Allow me to demonstrate how our, our local ice cream van sounds. Is it the same as every other ice cream well, van? Well, Nick, why don't you find out? It goes... And just sort of loops that for a bit, yeah? Fucking... I've never... I mean, I, I can... Yeah, I've never heard that ice cream van well, jingle. That look, sounds mate, a bit... You spend, any, you spend time in Tottenham, you'll hear that. But look, I heard it going round the block, okay? It's... It just stopped about three notes from the end. So it was like, oh, shit. it was like <laughs> something happened to that ice cream. Exactly. It was like, <laughs> and I haven't, oh I haven't heard it for the rest of the day. So that's haunting. So it threw me that's off. Like I, mean, a... I heard it while I was taking a slash. Right, I'm, you know, I'm stood up, I'm having a wee. You're humming along like, oh, here it is. It just stops short. Now, if that tell me that's not the most sinister thing, and I just haven't been that able is. to think of anything else. Who knows day. what happened? You know, are, are the are the kids all right? Are the kids is all the right? Ice cream are, are the ice cream is it some, all right? Is you know, is it, are we going to see a Netflix documentary series come out in three years' time? Absolutely. In which somehow you're included. Yeah, I, um, I, I don't go outside in case I encounter no. a, a horrid crime scene. All, all, all valid uh, questions, I think, yes. to ask, Yeah, so that's know. my long-winded way of saying Wednesday's not that great. An odd one. Not You've had an odd one. Though. Well, well, let's make it, you know, a little bit better today. <laughs> oh, I like your By, style. Uh, yeah, let's talk, about, let's talk about some stuff. So we put out on our socials, uh, AFNP pod. On, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's Instagram, all we put out. We just put that Facebook. out on our Yeah, socials. we put out our own yeah. tag. So no, if no, you we, do we follow out- us on any socials, all we do is regularly post our own <laughs> tag. Nothing else, just that. <laughs> just... Just with no context, <laughs> FMP pod. People are like, please stop FMP. <laughs> yeah, we know we're following. Just, just, just to make sure you got it. Yeah, we're losing followers by the, the <laughs> minute. It's so fun. Um, so we put out on our socials. We did. The, uh, you know, any suggestions for things to talk about? And uh, you came through in hordes. There were some fantastic uh, suggestions laid upon us. Of course. Uh, but, but one just really stuck out. And it was because... Debates are such a, a hearty topic for everyone. You know, we all love to pick a side. Mm. We all love to defend a side. You Absolutely. Know? Um, and uh, a fan of the channel and, and good friend of mine, uh, Lewis K Music, um, he suggested the the debate of is a Jaffa cake a cake or a biscuit? Uh, yeah, okay. It's an, it's an and it just one. it just set it set us off uh, into a hole of. Um, Reddit, um, Did, but, in which we need to get you know, away there's from a, that. Of co- yeah, of course, there's a lot more questions like this. So today we're going to be tackling um, just just proper heavy hitting debates. Yeah, but there's got to be some kind of word for it. Um, like, like yeah, or like a general way of summarizing th- this time because it's not just a debate. It's like uh, you know those little things which which you could technically argue either way. It's almost like a one page I found was like best icebreaker questions at parties. Oh, we're not calling it. And it's that, like we're not calling that, it that. That is that's lame as fuck. Yeah, like, man, that is. Don't bring any of if you're listening and you're at a party. Do I mean I don't know why you'd be listening at a party. If, <laughs> yeah, take, if you've listened, take your earphones out, mate. Go enjoy the party. <laughs> Get a beer, mate. Go speak to Julie. <laughs> what are you doing? Listen to a podcast Jusen, at a party. Say. You, you maniac. Yeah. Um. Look. If you if you've listened if you listen to this have listened to it and then you're going to a party right don't ask any of these questions at a party because everyone's just going to look at you and think oh what a manky man <laughs> you weirdo everyone's going to think oh why has he got sodden trousers <laughs> why, why is that like old... he's just come out of the fucking sewers why is old wanky William just sod himself <laughs> in the corner <laughs> there would be um, would be called William wouldn't it, it, it you would be you'd be called wanky William if you were the sort of person to 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 bring up any of these questions unless it's yeah. the end of the part these are perfect questions for when you're like either high as fuck or drunk as fuck at the end of a yeah, party yeah this is you know a I mean? good that, simmering that, down that come down area yeah um 
So let's let's just get into it. Yeah, should we talk about some? Should we do some? Let's talk about some. And I think we start off with uh, Lewis's suggestion. Well, it would only be them. right, mate. It would only, it would be, only right. be right. Uh, and that is number one. Okay. Our, our, our hottest debate of the hour. Is a Jaffa cake a cake or a biscuit? Stu, would you like to take the floor? I'd love to take the floor. Firstly, um, I don't actually know whether we're going to have differing opinions on any of these. I mean, who knows? So there's a high chance we're... We might just agree. This is the quickest check, episode yet, and we're just like, check, oh, move sweet, on, yeah. these aren't debates, they're just conversational agreements. Um, secondly, is a cake. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to get around that one. It's a cake. It's called a yeah. cake. Um, yeah, it's I, cakey. <laughs> that they're, they're cakey. I've never quite got this one. If no, I'm I, I haven't really. Because either. tell me, what is biscuity about a Jaffa cake? I guess right. So I guess the other side. Well, so firstly, yeah, I think we can agree on things. We don't have to. We don't okay, have to disagree oh. on these. But we can just get to the bottom of you know why. Why okay, so what we think is the case. So is to be case. clear, we we both. We, what we're saying is we both I think, think it's a cake. It's a, definitely a cake, but. I see the argument for okay. biscuit, and I think it mainly comes down to the size and the no, it's, but efficiency with which you they you know it's just a little thing you can just whack it. It's like it almost can't be that. It can't be Do you that. Know what I mean? No, no, Nick, it can't be that because if well, that's the reasoning, then I then th- that that yeah. many people can't be that dumb. Well, Stu, we found out this week now that masks have been uh, made <laughs> compulsory are. in uh, British shops. People are that. Yeah. Dumb. But I think, look, I think people get, when you think of a cake, I think yeah. in this example, people who think Jaffa cakes are biscuits have in their mind like a, a, like a loaf shaped, like big boy cake that you'd, that you'd cut up into slices yeah. and you'd give to, like not but a this little is so, thing. It's just so ridiculous. Like I could, I, I could go make a cupcake in the oven be nice and yeah. small it might uh it might like we made some of the other week they went horribly wrong uh but they were still cakes uh yeah. and they were just a little bit sort of like a harder outer shell but it was cakey inside which i think is basically just a jaffa cake it's cakey it, it it's is a cake. cakey i mean maybe it's because it's got like a almost like chocolate topping like a I, honestly i think the only reason you could the only way and surely the only way people argue against it being a cake is just that it's got a slightly hard texture sometimes right that has to be it that's the only because what what is it that yeah, who's constitutes eating a biscuit? hard jaffa cakes though yeah, Where yeah maybe are you a, getting those maybe jaffa a jaffa cakes. cake that's been left out for a year i will i will say um a, a while back right. i uh where was it I, I, it was a couple of years ago uh, living in London going to a corner shop to pick up some snacks all right? right i got some jaffa cakes and they were I don't think stale is the right word. I think you can't really trust like all, yeah. almost rock solid, but you know, that, that's not, that's not the, when you think of a Jaffa cake, that, that is not the normal texture, you know, yeah. Co- corner shops. I got, I got a bottle of, of, uh, Coke zero the other day, cherry Coke zero. All right. All right. Oh, from, nice. from the corner Treat shop. Yourself. I was thinking, look, I'm, I'm feel. I'm, I wouldn't usually go for you know, a little, a little, you know, a snack size bottle of uh, Coke, but I thought I'm gonna, I'm gonna bloody well treat myself today. Picked it up, went, oh, I'm well excited to have that. Walked upstairs, oh, well excited. I'm gonna sit down, like pop, pop some YouTube videos on to crack it open, tasted it, and it was like slightly vinegary. And I was like, I'm telling this you, is a bit I'm weird. telling you, sometimes like I love popping into the corner shop as much as the next guy. It can be incredibly handy, and on the whole, it's a great fruitful experience. And yet. You can. You're never really sure if what you pick yeah. up is going to be. Yeah. It going to be right. Yeah, because I I unscrewed, sipped on the vinegary Coke, uh, looked at the label, and it went out of date beginning of this year. Do you know how long Coke lasts? Do you know how Wait, long? Yeah, so like it had shelf actually life? gone out of date. It had actually gone out of date. I'd go it was back. Like the front. Like, can I just swap it out, mate? Yeah, but I, at this point, I I was like, I can't be asked to go back out just to swap out a Coke. You know, it's a principle, but mate. I, I, Don't it let is, throw it's your outrageous. Like that, mate. I look. I, I'm. I'm gonna go down now. Actually, yeah. Sick. I'll wait. Uh, yeah, clearly, I'm, gonna... I, I'm capable of stalling the podcast. So yeah, uh... I'm gonna go down now, mate. All right. Well, I hope he enjoys himself. I'm gonna go down now. Um, I'm gonna go down now. Fucking hell. How, so, how is everyone? 
Good, good, good. How's everyone doing? Good, great, Timmy. Great to hear from you, mate. Oh, he's back. Uh, okay, I'm so back. we'll have to have our catch up again soon. I'm back. Uh, it didn't go down. It was just a joke. <laughs> yeah, great, Nick. Absolutely seminal joke work there. Another Thank thing. You. Another thing that get that I've had wrong in a corner shop. I, I, I I'm <laughs> I've all, had wrong. I'm in aware we've we veered very far <laughs> from the is, road. <laughs> what is this going to be like? Sounds like you're about to <laughs> like tell a story of like genuine pain and like. Regret. Yeah, so I got kidnapped in a <laughs> corner shop last year. So there was a man in the corner and he was signalling me into the That's back why they room. call it a corner shop, right? Because that's where all the men that get you stand. <laughs> yeah. What? No, no, no. But any but but no, but I've gone to the corner shop before, come back with a bar of chocolate, open it, and you know when chocolate melts and then dries yeah. again and it looks like the yeah, ashes of like... a dead relative. <laughs> that's why I cut out the middleman and I just go and I just find the ashes of, of a dead relative. Yeah, just, that, yeah, that's why I'm not allowed near funeral homes, Nick. <laughs> nice, man. You ever wonder why every time it? we walk near a funeral home, I'm just like, oh, I've just got to dip round. I have yeah. wondered that. You yeah. always, uh, yeah, Google Maps comes up, leads us My mouth funeral starts homes. drooling. Because I go for the shortcut. You know, like Pavlov's dog, where it's like you, you're conditioned to drool from from a, uh, a certain um, trigger. That's what I get with funeral homes because wow. I know that it will taste like Cadbury chocolate. Um, look, before we, you know, te- back to Jaffa Cakes, I do want to point out, if uh, if ashes tasted like Cadbury's chocolate, I'd probably be in prison. <laughs> I think a lot probably of us in would. Prison. I think, I think I'd probably dip into the dark side, you know? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But, um, but, yeah, so in conclusion, Jaffa Cakes are cake. <laughs> Jaffa and Cakes the, are the, cake. The hint for me is that it's called a Jaffa Cake. A Jaffa Cake. It's not called a Jaffa Biscuit, and right? Which would be disgusting. Yeah, we could debate it. You could argue it at parties as long as you can. But I think I'm happy going to sleep safe and sound yeah. in the knowledge that it's called a Jaffa Cake. Yeah, and if you it's do fine. bring it up at a party and, and any anyone disagrees, and I really mean anyone, <laughs> um, just just, just give them a hit. Just slap, just, just knock them a bit. Just in front of just everyone. Knock them a bit. You heard it here, guys. Just knock hashtag them a bit. just knock them a bit. Yeah. So uh, that because they're wrong. Uh, whilst whilst a good um, sort of trigger for what we're going to go on to, I've got to be honest, and no disrespect and to Lewis K Music here, isn't a debate I've ever wanted or had. It's an easy one. It's an easy past. one. It, it opened a doorway to others, but it's an easy first option. You know. Let's have another one though. Let's go. Let's go for the next one. So uh, off this little list I've compiled. So we can tick the Jaffa Cake bad boy Oh, off. great. Do it. Tick it. Um, now, here's one. Okay. If you put a lasagna mm. on top of another lasagna. Yeah. All right. Let's say you've got, I don't know, leftover lasagnas and you're just compiling just a monster. Let's right? say you're the king of lasagnas, you know. You're the yeah. king of lasagnas. There's no reason right? why you if wouldn't you... have multiple lasagnas. <laughs> <in your kitchen. laughs> yeah. End of podcast. See you, boys. <laughs> Uh, no, if if you put a lasagna on another lasagna, is it one lasagna or two lasagnas? Now this one really, this one goes back to the the the, the dawn of time. Uh, it's, it's widely debated, yeah. uh, hotly critiqued, uh, but we're gonna find we're gonna find the answer, and the answer is Stuart. I'm gonna take the floor and say it it becomes one lasagna. Yeah, I, it would do, wouldn't it? It would just yeah. be one lasagna. But I'm um, assuming that they're like the same lasagna because you then get into t- territory where you think, what if one lasagna is like filled with wildly different ingredients? Exactly. Then, well, but even though but you it would, would still it would be still be a lasagna, wouldn't it? Yeah, I guess. I guess it depends on the context yeah. within which your lasagna is. Like, like, right? I, like. For reference, if I took a cake and put it on top of another cake, it might become a cake. But if I took like a red velvet and put it on top of a no, carrot cake, I'd still look, be like, that's too cakes, logic, mate. No, your logic is flawed because if you took a cake and put it on another cake, yeah. we're, and we're talking like finished cakes here because yeah. it's two lasagnas that have been pre-made as a lasagna. Yeah. So taking a finished cake and put it on another cake, they don't just slot together. You're you're not well, making... What do you mean, why not? If you put a cake on another cake... Yeah, it's just two, two, that's, two level cakes. That's cake, just mate. two cakes. No, it's not a two-level cake, because what what cake have you... Like, what yeah, cake you, have you yeah, seen? How do you make a cake, mate? You take one half, you put some icing and filling yeah, on, yeah, you put but another you put half ice, on. Is it not so you, just so, the same as putting... So you've just acknowledged that you've got icing in... Yeah, in yeah. the middle of cake. So if you took that and put it on another one, and because it can be different cakes, there's yeah. so much variable No, well, this is, this is sort of my point, is that, like, I guess it wouldn't be if it was a wildly different cake, so why would it be... But if it was a similar cake, why wouldn't it just be a big cake? Because 
because it's it's not like like lasagnas. I think the point is that the, there's already layers to a lasagna. So Central, the, yeah. the, well, no, the fact of a lasagna it. going together, you know, it's like you're just increasing the layers. So it's just a big lasagna, or it's two little. Whereas cake, they, it, it's just like I don't know. You'd have to re-ice the top. It would just look like two cakes. Do you know but what I mean? What if you didn't have two perfect sized shape lasagnas? You'd like if I took well, a lasagna that's been because hacked and put it on top, you'd be like. So what you're, it sounds like what you're saying is that if you're aware, if you're visually aware that it's two separate things being put together, it, that, that's what makes it not one thing. Well, that sounds like what you're saying. And so well, what I'm well, saying no, rebuttal to that is you could also have lasagnas that, so maybe that's the defining well, yeah, thing. But, but if you put a lasagna on another lasagna, all right, and let's yeah. say for your, for your example is that, you know, the top one that you put on the bottom one is wildly bigger and like miss-sized to the Or the, the other way around. Just, like, like, like it's the, a tiny the other, little lasagna hat. Yeah. Or the other way round, it would still be, it would just be an extension of the lasagna because it's the same thing. It's it's the layers of, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's, no, but yeah. It, so, it, so it would just I look think, like more of the lasagna. I think we're on the same page, but um, but that's just what I was thinking. I was like, look, I think it would be, it would become one lasagna. But then yeah. is it the knowledge that it's two different things originally? Is that what would seize it from becoming one? Yeah, or, I think. Because if you came up to me with a really tall lasagna and just said, yeah. here's a lasagna, I'd probably be like, sweet. But if but, he came up but, to me and said, here's two lasagnas, I'm going to put them together in front of you. Is it, it's, it's just the knowledge yeah, that you've got but, those two but ones then, making it so, I, so that I would ag- mean that I would, Yeah, it I would agree. One. But then in, in that example, if I came up to you with a really tall lasagna and I was like, here's a lasagna, you'd probably kind of no matter what, it, like be, just think like that's just a, a lasagna that's one lasagna you've yeah. made even if you this know even if point, it looks yeah. shit all right yeah even if it looks shit even though there's a little blob on the top of a different yeah. lasagna you'd still be like you've made that lasagna in one whereas if i gave you a and i was just like here's here's a cake mm. and it was two cakes put together without you know re we're not talking about re-sculpting re-icing or anything it's just two cakes put on top of you'd be like that's two cakes you've just put on top yeah, of but see, this is this is what i mean though this is this is what i'm trying to say we we both agree that two lasagnas be- would yeah. become one lasagna, but the thing that is changing that for us and the thing that makes that an easy is, answer than cake is the fact that lasagnas look the same. Yeah, yeah. So Lasa- if, a cake lasagna, look, yeah. if you've got two of the identical cakes in your scenario, you probably have mm. an easier time walking up to me and convincing me. I'd probably be like, that's a weirdly tall cake. But um, <laughs> probably you know, saying, where have, did you make, how did you bake that? I believing it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you've yeah. got the world's tallest oven with that. Something well, not adding up. I think yeah. so. I think in general, probably yeah, it would. Make yeah, I one think lasagna, wouldn't sp- it? specifically to lasagna, it would just make one one big lasagna. You call it big, but if it was just a ge- ge- general like food food, if you put two of a food item together, would it be two or one of the? Then like more generally, it would just be two. It would just yeah. be two. But, but a counter, lasagna, arg- one. a counter, an- another another fish in a. A fish in the water? That's not another spanner in the works is what I'm trying to say. Where did a fish come from? I don't know. Um is that so if you're making a lasagna correctly, right? If you do if you if it's a good lasagna, you want a nice, crispy, crunchy, cheesy top. Yeah. So if I put two Shit, good lasagnas yeah. together and there is then a crispy center. Now Nick, that's not traditional yeah, but, lasagna, but, is it? So but. something's up there. But I would, I'd, there's two points I'd raise for that. Number one, double the crunch, baby. You're getting two. I would argue that the best thing about a lasagna, is a, a good crispy. lasagna, yeah. is that crispity top. No, look, know? I agree. I would, I'm not against the idea of having so you're another two. layer of crunchy goodness in there. But, but, but my, second, and my second point would be, okay. you know, we're, we're all familiar with the laws of, uh, of, of cooking, you know. When you the put laws of something cooking. crispy... Uh, you know, within something hot, within something moist, that crisp's gonna lose. You, you, you're gonna yeah, lose the crisp, you, went, yeah, you know. Yeah. So that crisp, that crispy layer of the top of the first lasagna, and that's where we've got to be specific about. It, it's the first lasagna underneath the second that you've put on to make the, yeah. the giant would mega un-crisp. lasagna would uncrisp. Yeah, exactly. So, so you probably would only get one noticeably crispy top of the, the mm. already crispy top of the one that you put on top of that other lasagna. You with me? I'm with you. Look, yeah. So, so the uh, a top would seamlessly become a middle, and no one would really yeah. have much problem with it. I certainly wouldn't. <laughs> I I would not be 
thumping compliments the table. I would to the chef. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Can I get the chef? Can I get the chef out here? Well done, sir. Um, you you can get the chef out of there, but do you know what you could do first? No idea. Tell me what you have for breakfast. Oh, I could. Oh, what did you have for breakfast? I know what I had. <laughs> so, Nick, what did you have for breakfast? I I had shreddies. Oh, okay. I had frosted shreddies this time. Uh, it, you know, uh, eager viewers will be aware that last time I had cocoa shreddies. But yeah. not this time. I had frosted shreddies. So do you have, you like to have options? Well, no, I just ran out of, I just ran out of cocoa shreddies. So the next best thing is obviously. So then, so, yeah. Yeah, it was an offer. Uh, so, you yeah. know, connect the dots is, is okay. what I'm saying. Okay. Um, what did you have? What did you I have? I just had an apple. Okay. Healthy. Pink lady. Pink Lady, wow. Her name was Bev. Oh my God, do you know what you've just... Do you, do you understand the gravitas of what you've just admitted? A tight people? <laughs> Alrighty, my pants are tighty. If you come oh. to the schoolyard, mate, you're going to have a fighty. Oh. When I went down south... Um, I had a, I, I, flew, I flew my kitey. Yeah. Then I went to the fish and chip shop. Yep. Classic blighty. Oh, is it? That's it. We've done it. Is it? We've done it. Is it? Um, look, let's get back into some debates. We've yeah. had two, two, uh, hot, f- ow, ooh, hot off the oh, press. Oh, careful. Careful. Um, Nick, you idiot. Sorry, Always every use time. A use a tea towel. So, what the hell have I told you? Yeah, I know. I've, I'm, been, I'm trying to get better at it, but I just, I just want to touch the hob, you know? Unbelievable. Um, here's one. Is... <laughs> right? <laughs> Is... <laughs> If that was it, I that's ju- all I... That, you die <laughs> on the spot and your last, <laughs> your last words are... He, uh, here's one. Is yeah. Imagine. I'd never that's know. That's it. He, he died how he wanted to. Contemplating the sentence Asking he was reading. Um, look, here's one. Yep. Is water wet? Oh, Nick. You, this, this is going to have to Now, get, this is the eternal question. This is going to have to get harder, Nick, because this is the easiest question I've ever been asked. Yeah. No, it's not wet. Okay, explain. Because wet is is like so, so, something gets wet. You're a bit of a tough time, aren't you, Stuart? <laughs> yeah, so because I think you'll something find something gets wet. No, no, it's yeah. the it's the being wet is the being of being covered in a liquid. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But the but liquid is not water. the wet. No, because it's not it's not covered in that. But, but it, it technically it gets things you, wet. It's not. But if wet you will, yeah. But w- right. Let's think about water as the as the 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 lone object in this scenario. Okay, right. the, an actual globule of water, yeah. right? Nothing else on it. Nothing else around it. Just suspended there. That is wet because no. it has the. But water doesn't. You don't put water like, on a surface and then it becomes. It's like wet. Like it, it, it becomes water. The water's already there. That is wet. That you're getting. No, but you know water I mean? is the is the like is the molecule, isn't it? It's the it's the the single thing like a, a piece of hair isn't hairy but but technically but something being covered in hair yeah, becomes hairy yeah but no but hairy hair is not that's hairy. different yeah but hairy I, I would say the definition of hairy and, and you know uh, that's just off the top of my head is that there has to be a lot of hair on it yeah so would do you not say but, the but, same as but, water something to become well, wet no, needs to be covered in a liquid but no but, but for something to be wet that i would just say that like for example, if I spilt, t- I mean, we're getting very weirdly specific, yeah. like th- an actual like molecule of water on, on my desk, the I water would say is that not it's wet. wet. That- yeah, but, yeah, but, the, but it's, it is wet. Right. Because the, the molecule is the thing making it wet. The dictionary definition of wet is to be covered or saturated with water or another liquid. Water cannot be covered in itself. Because water is itself. Yeah, but wouldn't you say then, but we're getting meta here, that water technically is covered in itself. No, because we're, no matter we're what not, size, because that's not, that's not how yeah, but, things yeah, work, but, Nick. But, mate, I'll raise you this. It doesn't matter what size the the molecule, this is probably the wrong terminology here, but it doesn't matter what size the molecule of water is, it's 100% covered in its in water. 
that is 100% water. So if we're going by a definition of saturation, that is the most saturated you could get of water. Therefore, it's wet. Oh, that's pretty deep, man. Did that, did that make sense? Did I, I just think ramble I see what, something? I that, see what you're saying. Do you know what I'm saying? If it's, everything's relative, right? So if by that definition is that something is covered or saturated with water enough for it to be, let's just say like enough for it to be majority covered in water, right? That's what you'd say covered in water is, okay? Yeah. It's, we're, yeah. Not, we're not saying under 50%. It's like Co- covered, a lot surrounded. of water. But by that definition, water, H2O, is 100%. Wa- no, I think water. you're thinking about it too. I I, I see where you're coming from, um, uh, and all power to you, mate. Uh, <laughs> but but I think what you're forgetting is that water isn't wet, and uh, that water does the wetting. Uh, yeah, and indeed, uh, you're wrong. Well, look, and I, I, you should be put in a jail for thinking differently. <laughs> you should mate, be put in a bloody I'll jail in the cold mountains of Russia. I've heard it's. I heard it's nice in the summer. Deep man. Um, look, uh, just to wrap that one up, I've I've looked up on on Google. We're, we're on scienceline dot Tell me, it tells me that water okay. cannot get wet. Is water wet? No. Answer number one. There's so many answers, and it gets very deep here. But, but this number is the one, thing, like, the simplest could, uh, thing. It's, it, it's like you could constantly redraw the line it's, of what yeah. a molecule of water is, or that's why it's such a difficult question. Yeah, what is guy? an H two O? Right, it says, okay, being a liquid, water is not itself wet. Yeah, there but we can go. Make that... other solid materials wet. That's what I just fucking said, isn't it? Am I, I might as well have, give, give me a science wet. degree. Give, literally but give me look, a science degree right this now. This is where, like, I agree with that. I agree with that, right? But then it says, wetness is the ability of a liquid to adhere to the surface of a solid. So when we say that something is wet, we mean that the liquid is sticking to the surface of the material. But, but Nick, a hear water, me out. Yeah, this but is water m- molecules or, or H2O is not a solid. So it cannot be... But it is some, it it's exists. Not, no, it's not a that solid. It's... Yeah. It's not yeah, a solid. I, I, it, it cannot I, I, I mean, it's not, wet. it's not a solid, no, but... It it's is a, the liquid it is that a, will make something wet. Objective well. thing. Okay, I, I do... Yeah, it I, is I just, think it I, is. It is simply just like <laughs> my, my, my hair, my fur thing. Uh, that's different. A piece no, of no, hair. Uh, one that. single hair, hair follicle... No, because hairy is... Is, is, is not hairy. If that was yeah, on I would agree something, with that. that thing would become hairy. Well, no, because if... How if, is it different? If How's it one different? hair was on something, you wouldn't say that's hairy. Hairy is more well, a you gauge might say of... it's, start, it's certainly on the way to <laughs> it. Certainly, It's certainly <laughs> unclean, <laughs> yeah. but I don't yeah. know if I'd say it's hairy. Like if, if my hair, why don't you my ask, hair fell into this table... Why don't you ask society's it's... beauty standards, Nick? Oh, If gosh. one hair um, is seen as hairy. Huh? Wait, wait. So you're saying that um, Instagram isn't the place to assess all beauty standards worldwide no 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 nick on the contrary i'm saying it's the place to to assess all assess yourself i heard there. that i actually heard there's nothing negative that can come from That's assessing your not one uh, thing not one thing i'd love to hear the suggestions if you've, anyone can think of one negative thing to come from uh, comparing yourself to others in a sense of uh, what is traditionally accepted as the norm in terms of beauty and looks on the social media a place and a platform where millions of other people are there uh, to put themselves on display if anyone can think of one single thing that might come wrong from that please do let us know um please let us know because we're all struggling we all really are you can struggling find us at Look. afmp uh at water is not wet because water not, is not wet no, not let's idiots. put a nail in the water coffin is it and this is where i think look let's settle water is not wet but yeah, great. There well, is, well, I, i'm not a hundred percent mate it. yeah great i'm not hundred <laughs> percent set there's always that there's always a percent just niggling away in the back of my head. You'll find the help you need, Nick. It will come. I hope it comes soon. Look, here's the next one. one. Yeah, go on. Hit me with another one. Here's the next one. Is a bowl of cereal soup? Oh, see, this is a this is um this is another one which is sort of like. I mean, it's not. No, Let's but just I'll call it what it is. No, like, I, no I'm not yeah. having a soup. I'm having cereal. It's got a name but, for a reason. But does that come down to but, the? It's it the may naming. Be, yeah, it may be in the sense that like it meets all the criteria of soup, but you know Yeah. It uh, You're a freak if you call it soup. Yeah, no one's calling it a soup because it's not, it's just cereal. But I guess it is. But then so so this is where my yeah, this is where my head w- went immediately is that okay, is a bowl of cereal soup. Okay, <laughs> okay, let's tackle this one. All right. My my brain first thought, okay, f- for something to be a soup, mm. 
It's got to be hot, all right? Well, not necessarily because you can exact- have cold soups. Well, see, this is this is so the problem, it doesn't have to be hot. So you're, you're the definition I thought, of soup. No, is immediately wrong. I thought it's got to be hot, and then I remembered, what's that? I've forgotten now. But what is that? Oh, like God, Italian yeah, I know what you mean. cold starter soup you have? It's like gazpacho. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's you know that's a soup, yeah. and it's cold, so it doesn't matter about the temperature. So I, what I suppose, defines a soup? Like in my head, if I was to define soup, it has to be like it's 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 like a broth be it hot or cold, it's something that you've made from combining ingredients. You've cooked it, right? That yeah. and that to me would mean that well, cereal isn't really because like I could put I could it fill is a combined no, but I could fill a bowl with water and then be like, yeah, but, is it right, soup? But no, because it's just you, water in a bowl. That's not a soup, is it? But if you filled um if you filled a bowl with so for example, right, yeah, so cereal is just what? Milk or whatever substitute yeah. and the cereal, okay? If you filled a bowl with um like vegetable stock, all right? right. Like a like a carton of stock, which you've just bought one thing, yeah. the same way you'd buy I wouldn't milk. call it a soup. I'd just say I, no, that if you, you just put drink, that in a bowl. It's just a vegetable stock. But if no, if you put that in a bowl and then you um you you put like chopped up veg in it. Well, yeah, we, 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 it would become a soup and a well, broth. That's, that's it. how you make. But, that's I mean, like, literally up, how like, you make soup. Some, that is a soup. Yeah. So, so you'd put chop if you just put chopped up carrots in a bowl of broth. Yeah. That's just soup. That's just two Nick, ingredients. I'm not putting chopped up carrots in my in my uh, no, but, in my fucking shreddies, <laughs> mate. It's no, shreddies. But, no, mate. I, I think, think you're missing. Uh, perhaps a better analogy for you would be if you took a bowl of chicken stock, vegetable yeah. stock. And you put some croutons in it, and then called it a soup. No, you wouldn't. Well, no, it, well, I'm, no, I'm, I'm saying my not point. on the specific you haven't things. Been putting of, the ingredients in to make no, the soup. no, no. I'm not talking about. All right, I'm not talking about. Because that's all specifically the, what let's ingredient. Be honest, Nick, that's, I'm talking. That's all the I'm cereal to- is. It's basically no, but, a fancy crouton, right, right? Right. I'm talking about the amount of ingredients in a soup. Yeah. A cereal is just two ingredients. All right. Yeah, that's so, what you were saying. You wouldn't say it's soup. Yeah, but I wouldn't just, even say that the cereal itself is an ingredient. It's more, like well, yeah, I'm but, saying, it's more like it, a crouton. It, it's yeah, like a it flourish. Well, yeah, but no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. If you were to have like, I don't know, golden, golden, what's the what, golden nuggets, yeah, right? Yeah. That is more than a crouton. That's got flavor. It's got sweet. Well, no, yeah, that, of it, course. But I mean, in the, in the, in the analogy of cereal being the soup, I would say that the milk is the soup liquid and, the crunchy, nice nuggets of cereal yeah, yeah, is, yeah. is is just the that garnish. You get flavoured croutons and stuff. Yeah, but so that, the milk isn't just well, yeah, but soup. Ga- no, ga- I would say that the 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 cereal in soup. It, it, this, sorry, this is right. The cereal in a bowl of cereal right. isn't isn't garnish. That that is no. That it's is integral to the bulk it's of integral it. to a bowl of cereal. Well, but yeah, what which I'm is saying, where. But that was why I was putting the uh, the example of if you were to have a bowl of. Uh, vegetable stock and then you put like chopped up carrots in it that would be integral to that as soup that would be soup yeah. I think I would say but that's if, soup but if, yeah but this is my point yeah that would be soup so but, that, but that's what you were cereal, saying but you were saying you didn't cereal, think yeah but you were saying that you if didn't cereal think was that, a soup then that is not then the golden nuggets however are not no no I, I agree that 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 look, a bowl of cereal isn't soup, but mm. you. I'm just saying, just for the the devil's mm. advocate here, okay. is that you you're you were saying that one of the reasons is because of the you know the amount of ingredients in cereal yeah. isn't and it's but, and I'm saying that doesn't quite but, add up but because only, you can get but, soup that's only two ingredients. Yeah, but that's only relative to cereal as cereal. If we're talking about it as soup, I'd say yeah, you need more fucking ingredients. That's exactly well, why. Well, it isn't well soup. here's. Well, then here's what I... Well, exactly, but it would be a soup. You would say that would be a soup. But you could have a two-ingredient soup. Yeah. Just being you could like have a, a cut-up vegetable or thing, but I wouldn't... But yeah, but you'd say that's soup. If you left it long enough, yeah. If I got a... <laughs> if I literally went to the tap with some hot water, put it in a bowl and put... And cut up a carrot and put That's it in. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, Look, I, you I, might in make my an example, argument. You could probably yeah, make an argument for it being broth soup. Is, is but you're just drinking water with carrots in. Well, I'll raise you this then. If I, but, but off the... From the starting point of, I I agree. Yeah. That yeah. No, of course. Cereal is not soup. We're, we're agreeing here, but just to kind of push that other side a little bit further, what would you say if we brought into the mix like a bowl of muesli, which is technically cereal, mm-hmm. but it's but it's no, you know it's no, like it's not what, soup. oats. That's become fruit. less. That it, Nick, that's become less soupy. No, but that's 
Yeah, but that's cereal. That's more ingredients. It's still technically a cereal. Yeah, You're just and putting it, cereal yeah, and in guess milk. what, mate? It's not soup. <laughs> it's not soup. But I'm just saying, I think we can take out the ingredients list as the main criteria as to why it's not yeah, soup. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's not the fact that it's not the fact that there's less ingredients. So, it's, so it's, it's not just that. the fact that it's not soup. Yeah, I think that's it. Because because temperature doesn't matter, yeah. ingredients don't ba- matter. Basically, it, what we're trying to say is like if you're if you're if 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 you're, oh, what's the word? If your benchmarks for something becoming soup are just that it is a liquid and a solid in a bowl, where the fuck do we stop? Mate? Yeah, so, right. So I've 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 looked I up the definition. A, I could empty a can of Coke into a bowl and throw in some fucking skittles. But you might refer to that as soupy. Like that's a soupy because here, let me. But do you let know me where I belong, just, Nick? In a bloody jail. Yeah, mate. you. I would I would agree. But you know, you might technically be right because if we look up soup as a dictionary definition, mm, okay. first definition is a liquid dish, typically savory and made by boiling meat, blah blah blah, blah in right. water, or whatever. But it, but that's saying typically whatever. Basically, it's. A liquid dish, all right? And then the second thing is a substance or mixture regarded as resembling soup in appearance or consistency. So mm. there's no... There's no maybe, actual definition, yeah. Ma- maybe it is it right, just a has bowl to, of cereal. It just has to fit a typical look, yeah, style, so and feel of a soup. So I think that, that's enough to say that cereal isn't soup. Well, well, see, this is what I'd say then, is that technically, and we're, we're, we're talking technicalities here. You could argue. Cereal is... It te- technically that is soup but right? only in so much as the technicalities of soup aren't really existent yeah exactly yeah. because it, but in society it's not soup because soup is regarded as it's become a little bit more specific yeah. than yeah. than just the do you, know, do you know what i'm saying i know what you're saying um and yeah i agree it means that technically you could argue argue either way of this and you're not wrong or right. You're not really. wrong. It yeah. just comes down to whether or not you accept something super, super and not we- soup. And whether or not you're a freak or not. Exactly. So I just, I'd confidently say I don't think cereal's soup, but if you do think it's soup, all the all the more for you, mate. Power to I, you. I Enjoy agree. your bloody soupy mornings, mate. I agree. Um, look, let's have another one. Yeah. Uh, and this is this is probably it's maybe one of the most famous ones. Okay, right? of course. Very widely known. Um, it, it's become sort of a, a, a metaphor in itself for these debates. Uh, yes, it and has. that is, is a hot dog a sandwich? Wow. See, pretty now, deep stuff. I'm gonna this this might go slightly the same way as cereal and soup for me. I think they're I think they're two very similar mm. cases. And it's something yeah. that we didn't quite... Ju- we did sort of touch on with soup there, but it feels a bit more appropriate to say here. I feel like you can argue either way. Yeah. I don't think a hot dog... I mean, it, technically, I guess it is, but it. Uh, but in this case, a hot dog being a sandwich doesn't negate it being a hot dog. Yeah, I agree. Do you know what it, I mean? It's like it's a hot not, dog is they, called they a hot dog for a reason. Of, yeah, it doesn't have to be one or the other. A hot dog is probably technically a sandwich. Yeah, why yeah. not? But it's also it's like, a hot dog. Yeah, like yeah, the name de- hot dog exists for that thing, so it's a hot dog. Yeah, a hot dog is, it's not like, yeah, it, 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 the word is invented for that. That is what that yeah. and so hot like, dog is. You could technically argue it's a sandwich. And look, the, obviously, devil's advocate, the people, if, you, if you're going around saying, I want a sandwich, what, I want? I want a sausage in a bun. People will be like, well, you're talking about hot you're dog. An odd and you're like, yeah. no, it's a sandwich. Fine. But the reason you're saying it cool. is because it's meat you're trying to between be bread, right? But then- look, the, and, you know, we would call a Subway a sandwich. We would call a Sub a sandwich. But a Subway's not a hot dog. It's, no, but it is a, a similar is. style in that, like, it's an open, you know, it's an open, long, oblong, baguette-like sandwich well, with I think that's fillings where it, in the middle. That's Yeah, that's where it comes down to what you said is, is the hot dog having its own definition of a specific thing. Because, you know, what is a hot dog? A hot dog isn't, the definition of a hot dog isn't, that it's just a long roll of bread with something in it. Yeah. It, it's that it has to specifically be look and be like a, it, a yeah. sausage in in a bun that is that is long. Like that that's it has to have that. So yeah. so if Subway if Subway sold subs that had sausages in it like a hot dog, it, that would be a hot dog. Yeah, it would then yeah. become a hot dog. Yeah. If they were like, we're a hot dog shop, I'd be like Bog off, Subway, you absolute yeah. rotter. That That is not the case. And I think that's why, yeah, if, if I was with someone, they were like, really fancy a sandwich for lunch. And I was like, sick, cool, let's go grab one. Walk outside, oh, yeah, where should we go? We'll just dip down here, yeah. Just about to veer off into Tesco, grab a cheeky meal yeah. deal. Well, what were you doing? 
I'm just going to go get a sandwich. And then they're like, no, I meant, no, I'm, I'm, I really want a sandwich. Like, you know, sausage in a bun, hot dog. It's like, good for you. No. I'd say, shut up. You're wrong. <laughs> yeah. I'd and say, let me, let me live my life. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So I think, I, yeah, I, I don't think a hot dog, I mean, I guess it is a sandwich. But I'm not going to call it a sandwich. It's a hot dog. It's got a name for a reason, mate. And yeah, also, well, a sandwich we- is like two pieces of bread together, right? Yeah, with a filling. A hot dog is is. I mean, a hot dog is different to a sandwich. A hot dog is technically, if we're, if getting we're talking here, about one piece of bread. Yeah, if we're talking about sandwich in in terms of our um, typical normalized perception of what a sandwich is, and a hot dog in terms of our normalized perception of what a hot dog is, yeah, it's not a sandwich, is it? There, it's they not are a different sandwich. things, right? Yeah, definitely. Fine. Easy. Easy easy to settle. I don't think a hot dog is a sandwich. Not, hey. not at all. I, I also don't think. Let's have um let's have one more. Go on. Let's keep it quick. Let's all right. Get it spicy. Um because I know there's a certain celebrity waiting to get on the line. Oh um, wow, this is like Christmas. Okay, here we go. Okay. What colour is nothing? It, um noth- it's not a colour. Because nothing is the lack of colour. Yeah. So so I, it doesn't exist. It doesn't yeah. have a colour. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you can't it's see like, it. I it's suppose the question, is that question saying like, what colour's white? Is that what it's trying well, to I say? Well, I think that's, I think it comes off the but back also, of like, isn't, white is nothing, but it's not. White is a colour. But also, no, but isn't white just the lack of colour? No, wait, isn't it? No, because it still has to have a colour for it. I mean, it's not, it's not nothing is, is my is point. It? Like, And it's like black as well. People think black's, Am I just bullshitting? People think that black and white are lack of colour, but there there is pigment. You you have to have a colour there for it to be. Well, yeah, I see. I think I'm getting confused. It's it's e- it's either one of the two. It's either lack of colour entirely or all colours. Because yeah, isn't white isn't white all colours in a spectrum? It is white a colour together. Some, but right, isn't it also a shade, which is different to a colour? Yeah, so here we go. Some consider white to be a colour. This is from Adobe, right? Oh, yeah, Some you've consider, got to trust everything Adobe We've says. got to trust everything they do. Some consider white to be a colour because white light comprises all hues on the visible light spectrum. And many consider black to be a colour because you combine other pigments to create it on paper. But in a technical sense, black and white are not colours, they're shades. You just, you just summed it up, mate. You fucking had that down. You already said all of those things. Yeah. Well done. Shades. Had a gold star. Um, so, so I think of that sense, people, that's where, that's where the, the debate of whether n- nothing has a color, but that's, yeah, it is stupid because nothing by nature of it being nothing, it, it doesn't, it, it doesn't exist. You, yeah. You can see it. You, there's not a thing there to. Yeah. I think that's, that c- sort of comes down to whatever we're defining as nothing. Cause if we're just, just, th- just defining nothing, something that doesn't then, exist, it doesn't exist. It doesn't have any properties. It's not. Anything. But then if you're defining nothing as complete lack of color yeah. then then that is technically white because it, it's yeah. not it's every it's, it's sort all, of a bit it's like a shade. it's like isn't there a thing like does nothing like is there such thing as nothing like it, it does nothing have no mass yeah because if there's something there to to say it's nothing, because so, it yeah have... because there's something in the, in all space is something look that's so does nothing even s- exist is nothing slightly a thing? Or we just deciding it's something we can't for my visibly see. Brain to handle on a Wednesday, but yes, I mean, oh, my head hurts. I don't even know. Do where. we really exist? Are we even people, Nick? Do uh, um, are we in a world where podcasts exist? And are we making this for you today? And is a podcast a hot know. dog? Is a podcast a podcast? Bet I bet. Sorry, side note. Bet that is an actual podcast somewhere. And it's about this exact thing. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. There's a podcast out there somewhere in the world where they talk about the sort of is a hot dog a sandwich and it's called is a podcast a podcast. Guarantee it. Wow. You saying, it. W- w- are you saying we've tread unoriginal ground? Look, I'm saying ours, this podcast, All Fun No Poop, is, is the, the only original yeah. podcast well, in existence. Well, of course, it could be done hundreds of times before. It's the new precedent. So it's the new, it's look, we're, we're, we're trendsetters. Everything's wet, reset so. itself for us. Nicer time to do that. <laughs> exactly. Um, and on that note, I think it's time, uh, for our celebrity call. <gasps> I thought you'd never ask. It's time for the celebrity call. 
Right, it's uh, it's time for celebrity calling. Uh, now, look, last week, pretty crazy, uh, pretty wild. Um, Things we heard happened from, we didn't quite get to the bottom of. But. It was pretty wild. We heard from, I don't want to dwell on it too much because it was, a, it was quite... Uh, it's quite shocking to hear, but we heard from Michael Cera, who was being ca- held captive uh, by Adam Sandler. So if, as we found out in the previous episode, Adam yeah. Sandler had won Michael Cera in a poker game and, and is keeping him uh, captive. Um, he was trying to hint at something, but we it, it didn't quite get it. Yeah, he cut off. Cut off. Oh, yeah. um, but, you know, look, that's, that's in the past. That's in the past. Okay. We don't need to, we don't need to worry about that. Um, okay. we, we just need to, you know, move on. Uh, so in, in that spirit, we've got a new celebrity today. It's going to be great. Fantastic. Um, yeah. Nick, Nick it, it's has, exciting. Has it's a big one. Bring it to the table. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess do you want to, should we just jump in? There's no, there's no real need to explain anything else. We'll just get celebrities to come on the, on yeah. the, on the show every week. <laughs> Call That's in. how it works. Uh, I'm sure you're all aware. Yeah. Nick, you got, you've got them. Yep, let's. Fi- I think we've got them on the line now. Let's yeah, get we've him. got them on the line. Let's get going. Um, okay, so uh, celebrity, uh, feel free to introduce yourself. What? Okay, okay. Uh, hi guys. Hello. Um, Hello, mate. Yeah, who is this? Why beat around it, the bush? Let's get straight to oh, it. Wow, wow, wow! No, it's uh, Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Well, it doesn't sound a lot like him, but I'm willing to uh, give give no. Mark Wahlberg the benefit uh, of him. No, man, no. I no, no, it's Mark Wahlberg. No, okay. <laughs> okay, Mark. Um, what? I would say pleasure to have you on the show, um, but you're a racist. What? No, man. So no. not really a pleasure what? to have you. No. Well, I'm not a racist. Can you explain Transformers 5 to me? Child, uh, what? I... What? Oh man, I just Transformers. Transformers Five. That was. Oh man, that was a. That was Can a you explain the happening to me? Oh man, I got. Oh man, come on, I don't have a pen. Oh no, what? What? Oh. No, I don't know what that film was. No, Mark, and from the bottom of my heart, neither do I. Oh man, oh that's so kind of you, man. What? So what you do? So what's going on with Mark Wahlberg? So, uh, you know, supermarkets and yeah, supermarkets. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of them. I do you have them in the UK? Them. Yeah. We, we do. We do have them in the States. UK. Yeah. I love going shopping, man. I love to. Uh, I love to get up at five a.m. every day. Yeah. I get up five that's, a.m. every day. That's true. Sorry. Yeah. You're. Re- you, are you still doing that? Your crazy yeah, routine. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. What? So you get up at five and you go to supermarkets. What? No. Is that all no. you've come on here to talk about? No, 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 I go, I get a five every day, I get five a.m., I do my, I do my workout, so no, man, and then I go to the supermarket, I go, I to go to uh, Ralph's, and I, uh, uh, mm-hmm. oh, no, man, no. Great, look, yeah, that's great go, for you, Mark. Uh, I just wanted to say, I, well, well, the reason I've come on the show is, uh-huh. uh, they, they got some really good deals in Ralph's at the moment, I picked <laughs> up four pack of croutons for five dollars, this is amazing. In Ralph's? Uh, Ralph's, yeah. Okay, we don't have them here in the UK. What? So I can't do anything with that. No, no, man. What? No. Is this? A, are you affiliated with Ralph's? Look, there's a real. There's, look, okay, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, that's, be, that's a bit of a cover for the real reason I'm here. Uh, okay, yes. Yeah, str- let's just get straight to it, Mark. I did think it was a bit strange. Yeah, I've got somebody else with me, actually, who wants to talk in the show. You've got someone else with you, Mark? I've got somebody else with me. And look, I could be around the bush, but he's been uh, pestering me for about an hour ever since I uh, told him that I was coming on. He, he's actually, he's with me here. He, he'd like to say a few words. Okay, Mark, yeah, well, let's see who, uh, bring him on, Mark Wahlberg. Hey, it's Mark. Oh, my, Michael! <laughs> how are you at Mark? How did you know, you've got to Mark, to? I know what you're thinking, okay? Last time, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for the, for the, for the, uh, okay. for the podcast last yeah, week. Yeah, you got I cut off that. last week. You I, were about to tell us, I believe last time we left off, Ma- uh, uh, Michael, you were about to tell us that you uh, won someone else in a poker tournament before yeah, look, Adam Sandler yeah, won you. Yeah, yeah, look, I was, I'm really sorry. I, 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 was, I was in a bad place and I was in, a, uh, I was in some cupboards. Uh, I'm so sorry. I thought it was going to be funny that it was. Look, I... Uh, <laughs> I really have to get it off my chest. Okay, look, okay, so yeah. I was I, cut off. 
Did you, you, yeah, so you, sorry, you're at Mark Wahlberg's house just, Mark, just to come on the podcast and tell us who you won. And, uh, I'm at, I'm at, I'm at Mark Wahlberg's house. And, oh, oh. Michael? Hello. Oh. Hey, no. How, guys, how's guys, he found you guys, there? Look, I, he's close friends with Mark Wahlberg and I didn't, oh, I should have pieced this together. Adam Sandler's really good friends with Mark Wahlberg. So oh my God, he's chased you. Looking, looking back and I probably shouldn't have come to Mark Wahlberg's house to hide because he, he could just. Michael, hey, quick, Michael, just. Just get, he's, he sounds like he's getting close. <laughs> Michael, just, just tell us, just tell us who it is you own, please. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, I've had this in me so long. I know, it must be tough, Michael. The person. I just got to get it out. Yeah. No, of course. Get it off my chest. As, 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 take it at your own pace, but honestly, it does sound like Adam is getting, getting close out there. I'm getting closer to the same man. Oh, my God. Oh my god, by the sounds of it, he's mimicking a lot of his 90s and, and early 2000 roles, which yeah. usually means something bad's about to happen. About to happen. Michael, about, quick, happen. get it out. Okay, the name that I was going to say last episode. Yeah? It's... Michael? Michael? No, again. This can't have happened again. This can't Michael. keep happening. Look, it's got to be a problem with our connection but it's it's getting to the point where it's a bit of a coincidence it keeps stopping off every time he's about to reveal i know who and it adam, was and adam was there as well again a bit strange i mean oh, does he just follow him does he just i, I imagine he owns michael Cera. adam does so so i imagine he just keeps a tab yeah. on everything he does doesn't he it's i'm be not quite too tough. sure yeah i'm not too sure how that relationship Mark works Wahlberg's but, house as well yeah a bit strange why was mark why did he call why did mark call in in the first place if 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 he wasn't going to talk about anything, he just had... Mm. This very is strange. Very strange, but honestly... Well... To think well, it's just happened again. Look, I just, I'd just i only just got past the fact that, you know, we we, we weren't going to find out who Michael Sierra was talking about, but and then it just gets brought up again. <sighs> just and actually, again. You know, I just don't yeah. know how to feel about it. And, honestly. But look, let's, let's just put it... We'll put it, let's, put we'll, it, let's just put it aside. Put it behind us um, again. We all we know is that Michael Cera did win someone in a poker yeah. tournament at some point. Maybe still well, that's owns it. him, but you know what? Maybe we don't know. It's who. okay that that's all we know. Maybe we it's we'll one never of those find things out, we'll never get to the bottom of. I hope we do though. But yeah, let, let's leave it. That's um, that's enough of that. Yeah, that's, that's enough, enough of, of that. yeah. That's enough of that for this week. Um, yeah, that was uh, that was celebrity calling. Celebrity calling. Yeah. It's time for the celebrity calling. And just like that, that was a celebrity, celebrity, and it, they called in. They called in. Welcome uh, back look, from Celebrity Club. Yeah, they they called in. We're going to wrap up this podcast really fast because Stu just told me that his battery's yeah, about to die. My on his camera's camera. like doing that thing where it's like you've got no battery. Everything's so, and it's like every, any second now it's going. Tension, it, it's risen. Look, good good episode, good debates. We smashed some. We agreed. We didn't agree, but ultimately we're closer because of it. Absolutely. And look, what more could you want from a podcast? What more could you actually want from a podcast? What more could you want? Look, follow us on our socials at AF. MP Pod on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Absolutely. Follow us on YouTube as well, all fart no poop, uh, for any clips you want to see uh, of our faces instead of just our voices. Absolutely. And also uh, drop us a follow on any uh, platform that you listen to this podcast on. Uh, drop us a review on Apple Podcasts if you want to. That's all of it. Nick, that was outrageously Fucking quick. Yes. Fucking try me. Well done. We're gonna have to start. <clears throat> we're gonna have to start timing how quickly we can do the endings. But I think that's a record. Try Nick. me. Try Nick, me, beat me. Put the knife down. Beat me. <laughs> Did you say beat me? Are you saying beat me over and over again through tears? <laughs> beat me. <laughs> oh my god. Nick, this is this is oh, this is unhealthy. We, we really need to get we, you help. We do we do have fun. Fancy a soup?